from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show with AIDS. Not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. I got our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Always very excited to be here. And I am looking at uh, just uh, another one of these wonderful emails. I, <laughs> I'm always fascinated with what people are writing in, what they care about, even people like you. That's right. You. <laughs> you moron. Yes, I even care about you. Indeed, I do. And uh, here is an email thought you might uh, enjoy hearing. It is from a listener whose name is Sarah. She lives in Pomona, California. And she writes in, Hey, Tom. I've been seeing this guy for just about four years. First strike. He is 24, and I am 21. He introduced me to your show three years ago. I'll call him Tim. I love that. From the, like, it's like the Dear Abby thing. I'll call him Steve. Like, we don't know what his last name is. Call him by his real first name. Who cares? Call him whatever you like. If you don't use his last name, it's Okay. She says, in our relationship, she puts relationship in quotes for some odd reason. I've always been the one who pays for everything. Go to school, have a career in the entertainment field. I'm financially independent. Now, here's something she says, and she doesn't really explain. She says... I did, like a typical female, lie to him two years ago. About what? She doesn't tell us. Mm. Says here, and this is where she's concerned. In the past year, he's changed to this. He says, Lycus says this, and Lycus says that. He changed his 909 cell phone number to 310 because of you. Remember I recommended? There's certain area codes you don't want to be from, and if you happen to live in an area code uh, that may not reflect financial success, change it to 310. 310 is where Beverly Hills is, and uh, 310 is where Bel Air is. Be a 310 guy. Even if you live in the 909, be a 310 guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Says here that her boyfriend also refuses to ever get married, have kids. He says he wants to get rich, eat dinner by himself with a glass of wine, and grow old alone and die alone. He said he wants to live his life like you, meaning me. <laughs> and to show you how all over the road this letter is, she says... He has also confessed while drunk that he was gay and made out with guys. <laughs> you kidding me, right? Come on! Unbelievable. 
says, however, recently I guess you may have mentioned to guys to date older women because they're easier lays. Well, I what I said was that if you are 19 and you can't get 19-year-old women to talk to you, have sex with older women for now. Until you are older and more financially stable and successful. And then you can have all the young, hot chicks, the new crop that's come in since then. He obviously has misinterpreted what I said. Yes, she says, recently, I guess you may have mentioned to date older women because they're easier lays. So he now has a sudden interest in older, and she says older is 35 plus women, who also happen to be single moms that are a bit on the chunky side, 180 pounds plus, which she says, I know, isn't a likus way of life. She says he's a huge fan and so gullible to everything you tell men to do on the air. It seems like he's trying to be a Likus 101 student, but the key word here is trying because he's not doing it right. She says, I love this boy and care for him deeply. I'm thinking that your show is throwing him all over the field. I believe he still loves me. But I also believe he is gay. <laughs> Why are you in love with a gay man? Hmm. Says here, however, he's not using protection when having sex with these older women. What kind of relationship is this? You're in a relationship for about four years with a guy, you're 21, and he's out having sex with other women. He's also confessed when drunk that he's had gay experiences, and you're in love with him. Maybe I just don't understand. Jesus. She says, I can't even stand the sight of his... Uh, manhood anymore. It disgusts me that he is um, using it on women who have pushed babies out and who can't main a, maintain a father figure in their child's lives. And I don't think he's reading your on-air messages right. I'm afraid he's going to have to do something. I'm afraid he's going to do something really stupid and ruin his life. Can you slap him around with a bit of life advice, Sarah in Pomona? Look, rather than doing that, because, Sarah, I think you're all over the road. I do think we all know people out there who, if you think about it, are misinterpreting the Tom Likas message for whatever reason. They claim to be students. They claim to believe in the principles that I espouse on this program. But you know by watching their words and deeds, you know that they, um, they're they just not getting it. They're just not doing it right. They think they're doing it right, but they're not. If you know people like that, if you know people who think who think they are following the Tom Likas lifestyle, but in reality they're not? Tell me all about it. Tom. 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 Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. We're listening to you last night. We're on our way to go get a bite to eat. And, uh, you know, I just kind of said a remark of, like, why do all women want to have control? And she smacked the crap out of my head. Why do you listen to that Tom Likas? He's turning you into a jerk. It's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Right, do you know people who are supposedly followers of the Tom Likas lifestyle? Well, in reality, they're just not doing it right. 1-800-5800-866. Amber on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, how are you? Doing okay. It's an Amber Alert, everybody. Here's Amber. <laughs> uh, yeah, I went to your show two years ago, and uh, the only way to meet you was to get signed. So I had to get signed, and after I got signed, 
Almost every single guy bought me a drink after that. I did not have to pay for a drink after that. Pussies. And they and they even said I'm breaking I'm breaking like us 101. And I said yes, you are. Now let's review, Amber. Uh, did I buy you a drink? Uh, no, sir, you did not. I did not. No, but you made out with a mom and a daughter. That was that was very hot. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Don't you love you that? Are the man. <laughs> and you know, as a woman, I follow your rules too. Do you really? Yes, I do. I and they should; these women should listen to you. You're you're right on a lot of things, and these men should listen to you more too. Oh boy! Well, <laughs> well the next time we come to town, dear, maybe we just hook up and save time here. Exactly. That's right. Just, just letting you know, these boys are are buying drinks, and uh, you you know. Well, I'm glad you're reporting on this to me. I, yes. I, and by the way, did any of them get a piece of you? Uh, no, sir, they did not. That's right. <laughs> a lot of free drinks. I it saw your fun. knockers. I didn't buy you anything. Exactly. They bought you drinks, and they got nothing. Exactly. Done. <laughs> well, you, can you take me out with a bong hit and a thank you, Jesus? I certainly can, Amber. Here you go. Thank you, Jesus. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Marvin on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tommy. Yes. What's up, Tom? Nice to talk to you, man. Still a radio show here. Hey, man, I, I, I heard your topic, and I said, man, this is perfect. I got a girl. Oh, my God. You won't even believe it. She says, Tom this, Tom that. Where's all this coming from? I said, Tom Likas. Don't you hear it? Love that. Yeah, you know how they are, though. They think, oh, first you used to tell me this. First, then you used to tell me that. I was like, yeah, we were getting to know each other. And I just wanted to, you know, bang you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was, but that's just all the inside talk, you know, I'm thinking in my head, yeah, 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 what have you done for me lately, you know? <laughs> you, haven't gotten, you haven't gotten any sex here, any more attractive, you don't do nothing special, you know? But um, I don't know, man, I don't know what's up with these girls either, you know? Just bow down and let it all get down. That's right. So what's up, man, nice to talk to you, and um, I like your show, I, man... What's up, Tom? You talk to me, though. It's your show. Well, uh, I, I didn't call. You called, and I thank you for all of that, Marvin. I think uh, pretty much you've spun it out there, but thank you. Thank you for that one minute of juice you gave us. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. We're talking about people who think they live the likest lifestyle, but you know they don't. 1-800-5800-TOM. Sanaz on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Sanaz. How are you? Great. I'd love to talk about my ex-boyfriend for a second. All right. He is, first of all, he got me listening to you, so that's the only good thing that came out of that relationship. But um, as much as he loves to listen to you and as much as he is constantly talking about how he's a Likas 101 grad. Yeah. He is the complete opposite. He has two illegitimate children. He's only 25 years old. Two illegitimate oh, children. Oh, boy. Yeah. He doesn't take care of his kids. Now I say, you know, you shouldn't get, you shouldn't have the kids in the first place. And I remember when we first got together, you know, the first thing he ever said to me was, you know, if you get pregnant, like, I'm 100% behind you no matter what happens. And it was just, it's just, it's stupid, you know? So... Um, it's just, it's ridiculous for him to constantly be saying he's a 101 grad. The only things that he really follows is the rule of like $40 for a date. But that's just because it benefits him in the money department because he doesn't have any money. Claims to have a bunch, but he doesn't. So, it, you know, it's, it's just so funny to listen to him constantly be like, I'm a 101 grad, but he lives with his girlfriend right oh, now. Oh, God. You know, and and he wanted to live with me, but you, you know, the worst thing that he ever did was have me listen to you because the more I listen to you, the more I realize that he's retarded. <laughs> <laughs> and I just and I know he's listening right now, Tom. I know he's listening, and he knows who I am, and he knows that this is about him. 
And let me tell you one more thing. He's been constantly, and we broke up over two years ago. Right. I get phone calls over and over again, like, please, Sanaz, please come back to me. I need you in my life. And about mm, about nine months ago, I had to change my phone number, let everybody know that he was not to have my phone number because, you know, he's the total opposite of a like it's 101 grad. Oh, and I my. know that pussy is crying right now knowing I'm talking about him <laughs> on the radio. <laughs> Thanks for taking my call, Tom. Can you blow me up? Of course I can. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Gomez on the Tom Lika Show. You rang? Hey, Tom, how you doing today, brother? Doing okay, Gomez. All right. Uh, yeah, I... Cultural to... reference from the 60s. Look it up. Go ahead. Yeah, I want to be like you, but I just can't do it yet, you know? Uh, pretty much, I make crap money. I got a bad education because I went to a stupid trade school and which i what have i told you about trade schools well i barely started listening about the a year ago and i'm 24 now i did that when i was like 18 and it got me nowhere uh yeah i'm just right now trying to get back on my feet and go to a community college something like that you know um yeah but you make my day better knowing that I can improve myself. Of course you can. And I thank you for that, man. Gomez, I appreciate it. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. <laughs> Let's say hello here to uh, Lewis. Lewis on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Yeah. What's up, man? How you doing, man? Do you care? Yeah, of course I do, Father. Doing great, son. Good, good, man. I got a problem. I need your advice, Tom. I'm uh, waiting. I've actually, I know this girl. She's she's hot, man. You know, I've, she's got some nice body and everything. And uh, I think I got a chance with her, but the thing is, she got a kid. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so single mother, I don't know, Tom. What do you think, man? No. 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 Okay, Tom, that's, that's all I need to hear from you, man. Thank you, Lewis. Uh, thank you, Tom. Appreciate the call. Can you take me out Kobe style? Of course Tom? I can, yes. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, we're talking about people who think they are followers of the Lycus lifestyle, but they're really not. Candace on the Tom Lycus show. Hello. Yeah, hi there, Tom. Hi there. Hey, I I had to call because this is the perfect perfect subject. I have an employee who's twenty two. He is fortunately not in a relationship, and I'd kick his butt if he ever said that he was in one. But he has a bunch of buddies that listen to you, and they're all the same age. They're all in their early 20s, and all of them have these whiny, demanding little bitches that they're in relationships with. Oh, boy. And they don't have the balls to kick them to the curb. Oh, but yet, my. But yet they think you're a riot. They just listen to you, and they just they think that Tom's great. And like, the joke's on them. <laughs> <laughs> they're wasting their valuable youth. When do they ever think they're going to have a sex drive like that again and to be tied to one little bitch? And by the way, uh, one of these little bitches will ultimately uh, put a hole in the condom or something. You know that's coming. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, they're going to end up so screwed. I, it's just, it really ticks me off. And so it's like, you know, guys, if you're listening, actually pay attention. You know, don't just laugh. This is not a joke. This is real life, and you're screwing yours up. You are right about that. Vicky on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Is it possible, Nikki? Is, is it me? Oh, okay. I just want to make sure that you that you said Nikki. And, um, oh, I do, no. You know what? Uh, uh, Mister uh, Wampa Lapa Ding Dong in the other room there put Vicky instead of Nikki, <laughs> and I read I read what he wrote. Well, my name's Nikki, and uh, I just wanted to tell you, well, first of all, I love the show, 
And um, my sister was dating somebody who claimed that he and his friends were all into the Tom Likas 101, and he was, number one, dating my sister, who's a single mother. Oh, boy. And number two, he was, he, although he didn't want to say that he was her boyfriend, he was telling her on a regular basis that he loved her. Oh, stop. Well, and it was making it, it's, it's not only just bad for him, because, of course, you know, now she was attached to him, but it makes it difficult for everybody. Amazing. <laughs> Outrageous. I mean, you know, if he's getting a chance to get a piece of that action when someone has a boyfriend... Uh, just, just, just enjoy the action. Don't start falling in love with that. Well, and don't tell somebody that you're their boyfriend when you're not their boyfriend. It doesn't do anybody any good. It just creates chaos. They would get into these constant fights, you know, hair pulling and, you know, pushing down and yelling and screaming in public. And, and it was all because he wouldn't commit, but yet he was giving her mixed messages. Yikes. Well, thank you for that, Vicki. Thank you so much. Appreciate the call, 1-800-5800-TOM. We're talking about the people you know who claim to be followers of the Tom Likas lifestyle. But you know for real that, that they don't follow. Jose on the Tom Likas show, hello. Tom, you're a madman, but you're a genius. I love it. I love it. Thank you. I listen to you all the time. and I, can't. I was in uh, Seattle trying to find a way to listen to you out there last weekend. Uh, check this out. I have a friend named Frank turned me on to your radio show. Yes. And he swears he follows your lifestyle and he goes by it and everything. But he has uh, some chick that he sees. He works with me. And she takes his stuff all the time and she's a psycho woman. And, you know, he plays the guitar in my band and she'll take off with his guitar and he can't control the matter and he's still there stuck. She tried to, uh, she tried to off herself not too long ago. And, uh, he's still stuck there. And I don't know what, you know, I don't know what this guy's thinking, you know. It's like, it's like he's married to her. But he's not, you know. He has his he has his girl with his with uh he has a kid with his girl, and he won't move in with her because he listens to what you say. But then he got this other little sidekick that he can't get rid of. You know oh. what I mean? And it's hilarious. It's oh hilarious. My. It's hilarious. No, and then he takes it to an extreme. He he, you know how you say you only spend forty bucks right for, uh, on a date? Well, he only carries two bucks even with his buddy. He won't come out of his pockets even if we go out to eat. He carries two bucks. Just so he won't have to come out the pocket ever. So I mean, he took, he took your your like his one one to an extreme, but to the other extreme also because he's stuck there. I mean, this girl stole his guitar, grabbed his phones and breaks that, and he's still stuck there even after she tried to off herself. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Outrageous. I don't know. I don't know what's up with this guy, but uh, I like you to do me a favor. Why don't you take me out, uh, Kobe style, getting driven by by Snoop? How would you like that? Let's see what we have for you, Jose. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Bitch. It's 1 800 5800 Tom. This is Daniel on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Hello, Daniel. How you doing, Tom? Great. Yes, I do care. And yes, I do care. Yes. I just wanted to. I, I just want to. I talked to you a couple a uh, while ago, but uh, like about a year ago. I um I'm, I I'm a big fan of you, uh, but I live with my girlfriend, and that is my that is my. Uh, Why'd you do that? I, um, I think I told you a while. She's. I told you a while about a year ago. She uh she doesn't have her papers. She wanted me to marry her, and I'm she's still there. Still haven't been able to kick her out yet. So well, living I'm, with yeah, her is not helping her get her papers. I know. I, I, it's just, it's kind of, you know, the financial situation. It's kind who's, of like, you know, whose financial situation? Well, I mean, my, my financial situation is not bad. It's just, it's like, it, it's a little bit, it's, it's, I mean, we've been together for years, and it's not easy. It's not, it's, it's not easy just to say, you know, dump her, you know, it's like. It's, yes, well, it's actually like, it is. And she's illegal now? Yeah, she is. Yeah. And uh, what future do you think a relationship like that has? I mean, why are you even in it? It, I, it's, uh, you know, just it's my, my, my biggest mistake was that I, I listened to my parents and, uh, but, um, so your parents told you to do this? No, no. My, my parents were pretty much kind of like, you know, told me she was the best thing for me, the best, you know, and I, you know, I listened to them and I realized I don't really, I don't see myself married to that type of girl, um, 
I don't see myself married in any time. You know, I don't have any kids. I still, I mean, I don't have any kids. Um, and I, I, but I just don't see myself married to her anytime soon. And I know she's just waiting to, you know, be married. And you know, and I'm just not, I'm just not ready. And I know I'm not ready. Um, so why, why is she still there? I, she just kind of clinging. You know, she kind. Of, no, but why do you allow it? Because I, I'm, I'll, I'll be admit, I'll admit, it, I'm a pussy. I'm, I'm a pussy to it. I admit it. I what admit country it. is she from? She's from Mexico. She, did, I mean, she's a great, great girl. I mean, she, did, you know, she takes care of me. I mean, she, you know, she'll take the slippers off my feet. You know, you know, cook, clean, do everything. But I just, um, I just, I just don't. I, I'm just not ready yet for to be married. You know, I'm, I'm going back to school to become a firefighter. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going back to college. I'm already, I already have a job now, and I'm going, going to school part time. And uh, but I just feel that you know I'm not ready to get married yet, you know, and it's just I, I just know if I get married to her, I know I, I know I won't be faithful, you know. I'm just it's kind of sad to say, but so you're seeing other people from time to time? No, I'm no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I, that's one thing I try try very hard uh, not to. I mean, sometimes I get tempted when I go to the gym, but I, I I'm not because I remember there's something you always said that you always said that if you why why cheat on a girl, might as well just dump her. And, you know, and yeah, but, but I'm wondering why you don't dump her. Uh, it's just, I don't know. It's just, uh, it's because she's she's very emotional. I'm a, I'm a little bit. Uh, That's not your problem. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. She's emotional. So what? You know, I'm just sometimes afraid that you know that because um, we've broken up one time and she 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 almost she, she called me trying to wanting to kill herself and stuff. And Boo hoo like, hoo. You know, Boo -hoo. by the way, anybody, <clears throat> I got to tell you this, and uh, this is a whole other show for another day, but if somebody says they're going to kill themselves, you know what I say? Have what? at it. Yeah. Have at it. Yeah, You're not going to manipulate me that way. Have at it. Good <laughs> luck. Yeah, she did that to me. She got, she, she manipulated me. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm, and, you know, she's, she's in a, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit afraid, you know, like, what if, what, you know, if I break up with her, she, what is she going to try to do, you know? Who cares? Uh, yeah. But, uh. Um, That's not your I, problem. Yeah. But I, I, I do listen to you on a religious basis. basis. I'm a big fan of yours. I've been listening to you for about three years. And no kids. Uh, still, I have no kids. I follow everything else. No kids. But just, just this one thing, this one pretty big thing. And, uh. I talked to you before. You talked to me. I so I, you know, well, it's not one thing. There's several things. She's yeah. living with you. Yeah. No doubt, you're paying the bulk of her expenses, right? I mean, she pays half. She pays half the rent. She pays the expenses. I, I ain't gonna lie. She does pay the the rent and everything. It's just that she pays I, half of the rent. Yeah, she pays half. But the and you pay is, most of everything else. Yeah. What I'm saying is, it's something that you said. I've heard you say. It's like when you live with a girl, it's like being married, and it's like, and and this is it. This is what marriage is like, and if, if that's what marriage is like, I, I realize I'm not, I'm just not ready for it yet, and and I think she's, you know, she she she's not getting the picture, and it's like, you know, I'm gonna have to really. Well, have you, you know, told her that? No, I haven't told her that. I, but well, I that, well, by, by the way, nobody gets the picture. Yeah. You have to tell them. Yeah, you're right. You're, you're right. afraid she's gonna cry. Yeah, and I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I, I, that's, I feel. I feel the tears get to me, man. The tears get to me. Ugh. You're a little boy still, Daniel. Yeah, right. Uh, I. You're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, uh, right. Our uh, screener, uh, Mr. Teen J. D'Amelio, he has bragged about making women cry. He's yeah. proud of it. I need to learn from him. Maybe we, maybe, maybe he can give me some. Uh, Would you like tips. Dean to give you some pointers? Because he's made many women cry. Yes, give me some pointers, Dean. Give me some tips. Uh, you hang on. Dean will uh, give you some tips on how to make women cry. <laughs> just, just if he tells you the one about the Louisville Slugger, just tell him no, no, no. That one's out. Tom like it. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. My curriculum vitae is as follows. I'm a cunning linguist and a master debater. I'm also, uh, I'm an amateur gynecologist.
I've got Russian hands and Roman fingers. And on top of that, I also am the one and only state board certified interpreter who can interpret women into English. Oh, okay. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. We're talking about people who think they are followers of the Likas lifestyle. But they're really not. It's Robert on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, what's up, man? Uh, Not much, Robert. How you doing? Pretty good. So I'm calling. I'm looking for your advice here. All right. I uh, I just moved out here pretty recently to Los Angeles um, from the other side of the country. And basically, I don't know anyone. I don't really know where to go. And I'm finding it impossible to meet people. Are you planning on living in Los Angeles? I am currently living in Los Angeles. No, are you planning on living here permanently? I'm... Yeah, for now, I'm planning on being here permanently. What do you mean for now? I mean, right now, I'm here. I moved out here for work, so I'm here permanently unless something changes. With All right, work stop calling it out here. That's rule number one. Okay. Okay, because right. when you say out here, you're waiting for someone to ask, ooh, where are you from? And then, of course, you get to tell them where you're from, which nobody here cares. <laughs> okay. So just okay. remember, where are you from? I'm from Massachusetts. There we go. No one here is impressed. Okay. I wasn't going for that. No one. But just so you know, when you say you moved out here, (laughs) nobody's impressed. Everybody's got a uh, right to buy a plane ticket, and there's nothing impressive about being from Massachusetts or New York or New Jersey or Philadelphia or any of those places. Everybody from those places thinks that we in Los Angeles, finally, we savages here uh, are going to be... uh, uh, refined by the presence of all the refined individuals from the Northeast. Don't worry, I don't think that. That's it. Just comes out that way without me thinking. I guess. I'm just well. That's why I'm I'm trying to help you be an Angelino here. I appreciate it. I'll I, I'll work on that. Step one. It's not out here. You just call it here. Okay. Here implies. You know, it doesn't imply that you're from somewhere else. It implies that this is where you live and this is where you plan to live, and that's that. Okay. Okay. Anyway, go ahead. So, basically, so I just moved here to Los Angeles, and... Uh, and you can't meet anybody. Well, I mean, I've met some, but basically I'm finding it pretty impossible to meet people. I'm not really one that uh, goes into a bar and just tries to pick up a girl. You're, fr- you're, you're from Massachusetts, and you don't go into bars? Oh, I go into bars plenty and try to talk to lots of people, but I've just never been one to meet a girl. Where in Massachusetts are you from? What's that? Where in Massachusetts are you from? Worcester. Worcester. Um, I've been to Worcester. They got bars in Worcester. They do have bars. Oh, by all means, I love. I go to bar all the time. And there are chicks in bars. There are chicks in bars, but uh, for some reason, I'm not being able to. I'm not able to pick any. Of them so up when here. you were in Worcester, Massachusetts, where did you meet chicks? Um. Uh, some in bars. Well, I'm from Worcester. I went to school. I went to college in New York. So I guess most of my uh, bar time has been more in New York, in Syracuse, New York. All right. And you met chicks there? Well, yeah. Well, it's very easy to meet chicks on the college campus. Why do you say it's hard here? I don't know. I wasn't thinking it was going to be, but so far... Where, where, I tell me, Robert, where in Southern California are you going to bars to meet chicks? Well, that's the other problem. I don't know too many places yet. I mean, I'm in Los Where I'm asking you where you've been. I've gone, let's see, I've gone to a couple places in Hollywood. I've gone out to Silver Lake. No, but what place? Tell me the names, because I know them. I live in Hollywood. Okay, so I've been to Spaceland in Silver Lake. Okay. Um, let's see, in Hollywood. I go to a lot of, I work in music, so I do go to a lot of concert-type places. Uh, so, uh, Hotel Cafe, gone there a couple times. All right. Um... You tell me there are no chicks there, birds. Uh, birds actually is a pretty cool place. I don't know if it's necessarily a pickup joint. They've no, got a great I'm... rotisserie chicken, but 
I have a friend that lives around the corner from there, so that's the main reason I've been there a few times. I wouldn't call it a pickup joint. Okay. You'd do better at La Poubelle next door. Oh, yeah? All right. Yeah. Um, trying to think where else. I've gone to, I've gone down to Hermosa Beach a couple times. I don't remember the names of the bars that I've gone into there, but there's a Good place to meet chicks. You don't want to be caught driving drunk on PCH. That's a good point. Pacific Coast Highway. And, uh, let's see. And then rent just various other bars around, uh. So when you meet women, what's it like? Um, basically it's just. I don't know. I, I don't really meet. I've, I haven't really been meeting any in a bar. It's not really. I don't is it really that you don't meet any, or you don't know how to introduce yourself, or they don't want to talk to you? I suppose a combination. Mostly, I don't know how to uh, basically pick them up for some reason. Well, anymore. let's start with this, Robert. Forget everything you ever knew on the East Coast. <laughs> okay. I. Uh, stop thinking of women as intelligent, or that their opinions matter. Okay. Uh, stop uh, with giving them all this respect they think they deserve. <laughs> okay. You've got to treat women like crap. And that works. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, yes. So what you're saying is basically go up to a girl and just be like, I don't even know. What do you, I, be a jerk. Be a jerk. Just be yeah. like. Yeah. I, you know, when I go to a bar, you know what I do? What's that? I don't. I don't introduce myself. I don't talk to them. They they come to me. Okay. You know why they come to me? Why is that? Because they are attention whores, and they can't believe that a man could come into a bar and not want to buy them a drink or talk to them. So then they start asking questions like, "Where you? Where do you live? Why? Why are you here? You know, okay. like notice me, notice me." Mm -hmm. And and now you end up uh, steps ahead by, uh, by by letting her introduce herself and start the conversation. So what do I do to get them to come to me then? Uh, ignore them until they come to you. Do not walk up to them. Do not ask what's my what's your sign or where what, what do you do for a living. Forget all those opening lines. They don't work. I've noticed. <laughs> yeah, but you know what works better? You go to a bar. Okay. Like you are there, just there to have a good time at the bar. That you're not there to meet anybody. Maybe you're there to meet a friend. Maybe you're there because you want to have a drink or watch a ball game. Okay. That's why you're there. Women can't stand it if you're sitting there having drinks, chalking the bartender, and not talking to them. And eventually they start talking to you because they just can't believe you're not paying attention to them. <laughs> All right. Does On the East Coast, you you, are, you have your balls busted by women who want you to treat them with respect and, and you, you care about their intellect. Do this, they? <laughs> this is the Wild West, partner. That's what, we don't I give don't. a rat's ass. Okay. I, I don't care if they've got three IQ points to rub together. <laughs> so you're saying just go up to the bar and just start ordering drinks until finally a girl walks up to me and order the drinks, go. watch the game, do but, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, yeah, you start watching the Lakers, okay? Okay. If you want to meet I, chicks, don't be okay. asking what time the Celtic game is on. <laughs> All right. I'll watch Nobody the cares about the Boston Celtics in Southern California. Hard as that yeah. may be to believe. <laughs> we it's also don't care believe. about the Patriots. We don't care about the Red Sox. That's harder to believe for me. Hey, but, uh, guess. But well, you come you come from an area where the city of Boston calls itself the hub. The hub of what? <laughs> I agree. It's the hub in their minds. I mean, it's the center of what? It's true. We don't care about the Dodgers back there, so I suppose that's very fair. We don't care. The thing is, though, people in Boston and New York, they think the whole rest of the country is fascinated with their little rivalry. Mm -hmm. We couldn't care less. Okay. That's fine. Some some little tips that will help you out there as you were just living on the West Coast. Our email address, tom at com. The Tom Likas Show.